This free ride on Connecticut highways may come to an end. That is if Governor Ned Lamont and other lawmakers have their way. They want to put tolls on major highways across the state. Between all the taxes and the tolls, it's just getting ridiculous. I actually think it's a good idea to bring tolls back to Connecticut. It would be tough. It, nobody likes tolls. State Senator Alex Bergstein introduced one of the bills being considered. It's short on specifics, but calls for electronic tolling on major highways to fund transportation infrastructure projects from the roads to the rails. It really is the most common sense solution to what is actually a crisis in Connecticut. We're the only state on the East Coast that doesn't have tolls. We also have the 49th worst infrastructure in the country. Bergstein says estimates show tolls would generate $1 billion a year in revenue. All the details would need to be worked out, but a study commissioned last year by the state calls for 82 cashless toll checkpoints across Connecticut. Bergstein says she'd be in favor of a four to five cent per mile toll with discounts for Connecticut residents. Out-of-state drivers would pay more. The governor spoke about it in his budget address in February. We foot the bill when we drive through their neighboring states. It's time for those out-of-state drivers to help foot the bill for fixing our roads and bridges. But the proposal faces major pushback. Patrick Sasser is founder of the group No Toll CT, which has held numerous protests opposing the plan. We're ranked the second highest tax state in the country. You can't continue to ask the residents to pay more. Senator Bergstein believes this will come up for a vote before the session ends in June. At this point, both sides believe momentum is in their favor. In Greenwich, Connecticut, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.